the clock tower. It has been a source of superstition on campus for years. Many people believe that if you step underneath it, you won't graduate on time. So, understandably, it became a source of fear on campus of the University of Rochester. Everyone is walking away from it. People are even afraid to talk about it. Uh, oh. Clock tower? Sorry, we, we, we're, we're on rush. Okay, okay, no worries. Nobody wants to get close, fearing that they will be struck by a hidden, invisible force. No, why didn't you pass underneath it? Uh, I don't believe in it. People say like if you pass, you won't, won't graduate, but... I just don't want to test the devil, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, just be careful in your life. I don't, I don't believe it, but you know. But you just don't want to try. Just safe side, you know. Yeah. yeah. Just be careful in your life. You've already seen it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you ever passed underneath this clock tower? Oh, no, I haven't. Why? Oh, there's like a superstition that um, if you walk underneath, you take longer to graduate than you're supposed to. Longer? Okay. Yeah, a longer time. Right? Are you, uh, which year are you in? I'm a rising junior. Rising Junior? Yeah. So you never passed underneath it until yeah, this right. day? Yeah. The more I know about the fear the clock tower has been causing, the more I want to fight it. So I decided to take a trip in history and attempt to understand the origin of this superstition. Part 1. A trip in history. The construction of Rushries Library started in 1927. It was named after Benjamin Rushries, the third president of the university. Rushry's Tower is 186 feet tall, and it has the Hopman Memorial Carolyn, also known as the Bells. There are in total 50 of them, and they were imported from the Netherlands. But that doesn't actually matter. There are so many weird things that happened in history related to U of R. But I couldn't find any information about the clock tower, until I saw this video. Here you can see that there is no clock tower. The same video features some cars that seems to be from the 70s. But still, I was left with no answers. Why was the clock tower even built? Did people start valuing time more after the 70s? And where did this belief about the clock tower originate from? And most importantly, is it true? Part 2. The Reverse. While I was researching, I came across this. Everyone talks about how passing underneath the clock tower will make you unable to graduate on time, but nobody mentions that there is a way to reverse the curse. Apparently, if you throw an acorn at the statue of George Eastman and have it land on the brim of his hat, you reverse the curse. Here is a demo of how this might look like. You go to Eastman's statue, then you get in position. I am Batman. And you find your weapon. Uh, not this one. Uh, I meant an acorn. Yep. Uh, this is too big though. Unrealistic. Can we scale it down a little bit? Much better. The only thing left is, um, I'm not Batman. Amazing. Then you have to aim at Eastman's hat. Through my projectile calculation, you have to throw the acorn at a 35 degree angle with a speed of 10 miles per hour. And it will land perfectly on his hat. I was tempted to just go underneath it now, armed with this knowledge that I can reverse the curse. But for safe measures, I decided to ask some alumni who graduated if they passed underneath the clock tower or not. The results were encouraging. It seemed like the overwhelming majority graduated on time, or even before time. But then something weird started happening. My camera started shaking, and even the editing software started glitching. I knew it. I was getting closer. The clock tower was trying to fight back, but I knew that I got it. I just needed one final blow. Part 3. Breaking the Myth I decided to interview one of U of R alums who told me that he has some secret knowledge that he would like to share. So, in one of the meetings for all of Rest Life, uh, the director of residential life was talking to us about the uh, clock tower myth at U of R, uh, which everybody in my, my year group, if not the year groups before, um, know about. Uh, so if you get below or if you get through the clock tower, you won't graduate in four years. That's the myth. And then, to my surprise, it was actually 
a rumor that um, uh, that started by uh, Rust Life in one of the years when they were doing orientation together. So it's a actually it's a competition. It's a sort of a competition. Rust Life get together every year, and then they decide uh, what rumor will try to spread like in, in each year, and then it's a competition what sort of rumors uh, would stick. Um, throughout the years. Do, do you know do you know how, how long this have been going on? So like if I understand correctly, Res Life decided that they're gonna spread this rumor among first years and how long has been this going on? Like how many years? When was when was that decision made? Uh, I, I, I can't fully remember but I, I think it was as it, it was there for a while because we were told that out of all the rumors that people spread um, throughout the years, this is the one that got stuck the most. <laughs> but I have to, uh -huh. but I came up with the uh, clock tower idea with, was a genius. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, somebody told told me about it, and then I decided to pass uh, under the clock tower. And I said, you know what? If I'm not graduating in four years, it's happening in three. So <laughs> uh, I wasn't concerned at, at the time. I, I did not graduate in three years. I didn't graduate in exactly four years. So with that being said, I decided to go underneath the clock tower. Plus, I already graduated anyway. I don't know why I wasn't actually passing underneath it from the first place, but that's beyond the point. So, here we go. Man versus time versus clock tower versus superstition. Ow! And just for fun, I decided to test how hard it would be to land an acorn on Eastman's hat. Yep, this is an acorn, right? It is. Can you see that? They didn't say how close you can be or how far you need to be. So, I'm just gonna um, be outside of this like close circle over there. I notice that people at first look at you and then they stop looking. Yes. Did you hear that? Does it have to land and stay? Does it have to land and stay or can it just like hit it? Because I definitely hit it. I hit his hat right now. It's very hard to actually place anything on the hat because it's not flat. seriousness, I think there is no reason to fear the clock tower anymore. It's beautiful. It's a tool for us to measure our time. I suggest we start a new tradition. One where everyone passes underneath the clock tower, as early as their freshman year. Just don't blame me if anything happens. If you enjoyed this video, share it and consider subscribing to my channel. Because I'm, I'm pretty lonely there, you know? I only have 100 subscribers. And I would definitely appreciate some more company, you know? Don't, don't be like the clock tower. Subscribe for more. Expand journey. Adios.